Hello guys, welcome back to Stellaris Distant Stars, playing as the Ascendancy. Let's continue. And we have uh, found the homeworld of the Volteum. And uh, that's a very awesome system they used to live in. So, we'll try and get this as soon as possible. Oh, the world actually cracked. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Um, yeah, up to speed. There we go. We do have a construction ship on wow. its way. Yes, good. So have these who are unemployed. That's fine. We're losing a bit of money. That's also fine. Complete. And we have a spare. Um, Technology secured. Spare, uh, what do you call it? Ascension perk available, but we're waiting for, well, until we can get... Uh, ooh, terraforming. Until we can get uh, habitats. Ooh, one of these. Mm, we're not really planning on terraforming too much at the moment, but we also want this and this. God damn it. Get this, I think. Okay, we're earning a bit of money again since we got one extra slot for star bases. Okay, this is being built. Uh, this is being built. It's fine. Uh, let's build one over here. And you, mm, we can build another Kobarian. We're not letting uh, the Nauru doing uh, the manual work here of actually attacking stuff. Well, on ground. Okay, ascensions end. Let's hope there's not a what do you call them nasty creature there. Leviathan. That's the word. Okay, excellent. Flag. Hmm. I get this, and we can get one of these. Uh, let's try and get this so we can get more unity. There we go. And we have stuff we want to replace here on our worlds. Here we want to replace this with a mineral processing plant. Uh, here we don't have any mineral uh, up here. Place with this over here. Place this with this. Okay. Grab this and this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Charted. Wonderful. Uh, survey, 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 and you can soon do automatic surveying. So construction complete. Construction you are going down completed. here. Good. Oh, pirates! No. Oh, there. Hmm. Run. Oh, fly. Complete. Two more here. Enemy presence exposed. Oh, yeah, but you're still not too strong for that. Too bad. Uh, gun, gun. Range. Construction complete. No. Bad timing. Oh. Okay. Nice. Um research output violently diminished. Do this this science ship, yes, wait there. Uh actually go up and get this one. First so we can take this planet and divide uh, the people up among our own planets amongst our own planets. By chance we stumble upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this planet. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. Could it be a distress transponder? Research. I don't know. Let's find out. Did they leave again? I think they did. Go here. No, you know what? Project. Do this. Ancient life pod. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbit of Pedaeus uh, 8. Discovered in scorch marks. Presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded and 
preliminary scan suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew of the ISS Velagion managed to open the pod, revealing the, with the remains of a reptilian alien clad in a resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of his claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race, possibly a mate or revered leader. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. Oh, what? Technology secured. Okay, nice. Uh, ooh. I want it all. Let's get this though. Okay, clear, clear, clear. Here, clear. Clear. Mm, clear and clear. Okay, try again. Star system. You go in here. Technology secured. Okay. Something. I'm not sure what, but we have it. <laughs> Uh, UV laser, pop, pop, pop. Let's get the UV laser. Hulks vivisected. Lice, lice, nice. I mean, <laughs> wait, where did they? Where did they go? Down here, maybe. Attacking enemy assets. Mm, must have been killed then. Excellent. Go home. Technology secure. And you do well. Go up here after that. Oh. Anomaly found. Survey. A small space station of some kind has been built in a stable orbit around this asteroid. It appears deserted. Research. Okay. Nice. Uh, get this. Some crystals. I think we have something over here. Yes, we do. Construction complete. Wonderful. Mining station. Service observation post. Sure. Automated mining base. Ooh. We've detected an automated mining base built in close orbit around asteroid M4 03 A. There are large chunks of the hole missing. The jagged holes indicate. indicate? No. Indicative of heavy weapon damage. of heavy weapons damage. The station is beyond repair, but salvaging it will provide us with valuable materials. Yes, give me 500 minerals. Why not? Anchorages. Ooh. Survey complete. Through, the s through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved, and our scientific community has, has had to build new models from scratch. Our most interesting findings are being displayed at a newly de uh, dedicated museum of exobiology on Gatekeeper. The public is enthralled, and many donations have come in to aid in the continued search of strange life forms. Okay, we'll take it. Here we want Anchorage, Anchorage, and we don't have the uh, thing yet, no. The thing yet. You know what I mean. The one that gives more naval capacity to our Anchorages. Can't recall what's name, what it's called. Mm -hmm. You and you combine. And scooch up here. Wait, what? Oh, you were someplace else. You know, just go here and combine up there. <laughs> Star system charted. Okay, go here. Oh, they took this one. Damn it! New contact. Construction. Ugh. Galactic Jubaran Union. Attention, alien creatures. Unfortunately, I was chosen by Chairman Ornegion Starsail to represent. Unfortunately, <laughs> to represent the Galactic Jubaran Union in all diplomatic dealings with your primitive civilization. We intend to unlock technologies your people minds cannot comprehend. Do not interfere. Executive, executive committee. Okay. Hegemonic imperialist. Your kind will not threaten our god emperor. It is no. Oh, too bad they got this Star one. It's no like clear cut, uh, clear cut um, choke point around here. Well, except they're there, but we're already building here. Oh well. It will. 
What's this? Do we have someone unemployed? We do. Uh, this. So this group here is yes. here. Uh, let's see. Uh, you let's go over here and build me this. You go here. Just chill there. You go up here. Complete. Okay. Nice. You got that one. Nice. I'll go and get this one then. And you build everything there. Good. Go and get this. We don't get pirates, hopefully. <laughs> I suppose this is a choke point as well. We are kept in star bases, though. We could take the galactic thing that gave us more star bases. Hmm. I think I'll wait. Technology secured. Okay, UV laser. Nice. Wormhole travel. Bit expensive. Uh, not that useful at the moment, but you know what? Just, just get it. Anomaly found. Glowing webs of an unknown origin, periodically, periodically, no, periodically illuminate the surface of Myrim 1A. Periodically, oh, I can't say that word apparently. Oh uh, well, do this and this, and here we want communications Java. Bonk. And you upgrade. Construction complete. Oh, what's this? Life electric. Disturbing. Uh, science officer Galdrick then severe uh, reports that Murum 1A is covered pole to pole in a web like network of electric impulses. These networks respond to external stimulus. The ISS Velagion experimented with sending a low voltage pulse in onto the surface resulting in a wave of illumination that ripples through the network like a circuit board. Even more remarkable, the webs rearranged themselves. A secondary pulse revealed that filaments had organized into a new pattern, centered around where the previous pulse had contacted the surface of, of Mirim 1A. Galdrick then Sabir concludes that the discovery has confirmed his long-held theory, long-held, that life can exist almost purely as electrical impulses, independent of cellular or viral structure. Disturbing. Oh. Skill changed by one. Oh, nice. Damn. So smart. Construction complete. Star system charted. Could possibly build, probably build another fleet, but I do would like to get destroyers before we do that. We are a bit weak Star though, at charged. the moment. It's not good. Okay, <laughs> more tile blockers. Nice. How are how are our sector doing? Uh, they're lagging here. Let's give them something to use. And a few more, a bit more here. Oops. Oh shit. Uh, the Tyrius Coalition. It's these guys down here. Okay. Mm -hmm. How strong are you? Ah, the question is, will they attack down here or up here? I don't know. We don't have any claims. Humiliate. Uh, can we maybe make a claim? Can. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's just get this one, I think. So you want uh, a lot of stuff. Everadam, Astralea. Okay, it's stuff up here, I would presume. I don't suppose we can see their claims? No. Uh, we can't see claims yet? No. Hmm. <sighs> How strong are they? They are superior. Do this. Build this. 
Oh, we need more shipyards. God damn it. Thought we had more. Another we had more. Found. Impressive structures, litter, Voldoris, one s surface. Practically begging for some archaeological work. Research. Hmm. Okay, uh, build this and this. Yeah, don't uh, go up there yet. Hmm. Go here for now. <sighs> uh, shipyard built. Edic, monolithic. Faldora 1 is uninhabited un uh, and indeed uh, uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall cenotaphs carved from some mineral not native to the planet, evidently placed here by some art artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monolith's flowing lines uh, definitely chart a history so fantastical, it must surely be fictional. Surely. Okay. Star system charted. Mm. Engineering, sure. Go back down here, build another shipyard. Just trying to figure out where the hell they will attack. Oh yeah, this is the weak spot at the moment. Building. Also, recruit. Gale speed, yes. Technology secured. Uh, you uh, just chill there for a moment. Iron thrusters. Elgate insight plus one. Intensive study with the fields of nanomachinery and subspace phenomena will eventually yield a new Elgate insight into the disabled Elgate mystery. I'm not sure what that is yet. And it's not that critical at the moment. I would like to get this, I think. What are you doing? Okay, going down there. Actually, go over. Well, you know what? <laughs> go back here. <laughs> get this thing. Okay, you're doing stuff up there. That's fine. Hmm. Construction complete. Construction complete. This. It's also go ship designer and do this and see. No, let's wait. Construction. There complete. we go. You got better iron thrusters. How expensive will this be? A hundred. We'll take it. And this one as well. Vessels upgraded. Oh, the serum declared us their rival. Let's declare these guys our rival. Construction complete. Yeah, and this one as well. Hmm. Technology secure. Tile blockers, nice. Uh, defensive armies, this is also quite good, so we can get uh, another civic. Let's take this one. Okay, uh, clear out this and this. And you build this here. Clear this, 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 and upgrade this. It's fine. So now we have two fleets. Are we still... now they are equivalent. Okay. Could maybe go on the offensive. Anomaly mm. found. Our science officer has found an anomaly. It will require extensive probing, but could garner a substantial fight. Research. Okay, you actually grab this one. Oh, it's not fully surveyed. Whoops. Go here then. Uh, then you... Sweet Prince, you will go over here. Survey. Uh. Diamond in the rough. 
After the study of Elthine 5A has concluded, science officer Goldrick then subpoenas and reports that they have found the planet to be unusually rich in minerals. This discovery was made possible in large part thanks to the certain member of the ISS Velagian crew. Galric then Sabir praises the protege highly. Offer this protege a science officer position. Okay. Anomaly research faster. They do good work where they are. Uh, let's just do this. Star system charted. Here. What do we want here? Hyperlane. Move quickly. Mm. Ship hyperlane detection range. Plus four. Mm. Mm, yeah, get this. Mm, nothing yet. Instruction complete. Why? Wait, what? Work exhaustion. Attrition. Why do I have more attrition than them? <laughs> That's odd. Mm. Let's go on the defensive. On the offensive. We could still claim stuff. Rival. Oh, cheaper now. Claim this. Enemy presence exposed. Oh. Where? Ah, here we go. Fourteen hundred. What do we have here? Oh, <laughs> I don't think don't think they can get through here. But you're welcome to try. They could also go down here, of course, which they are. Okay. Station under attack. Could dismantle this and move it forward if we win this war, maybe down to Asgard. Asgard! <laughs> uh, a wavering signal haunts Star Mark 1A, though it does not seem to originate from the planet's surface research. Also, what? how long time have we played? Okay, 22 minutes. Rough. Construction complete. Ah, now we can get this. Which is something we want to get, of course. Uh, right. Defense platform holds. Oh, right, we don't. We could also build defense platforms. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh, this was armor, right? Um. Hmm. Oh, destroyers. Let's get destroyers. The ransom year. Emergency buoy. Boy. Boyo. Boyo. <laughs> An emergency transmission boyo floats in gentle orbit around Star Mark One A. Its outer casing is heavily damaged, seemingly by glancing weapons, fire, or a powerful explosion. It might be a Nauru model for civilian ships, designed to be ejected as an emergency measure should the comm system fail. But the extent of the damage makes it impossible to know for certain. It is repeating a weak, distorted signal. Clean up the transmission, it could be a trap. Let's leave it be. Clean Situation it up. Log updated. Hello. Oh, I need a dude here. Control, shift, right click, do this. Right, you're up there. Right. Special project At the ransom here, SOS. The boy has been verified as one of the of Nauru make, and the signal is its relaying has been stabilized. Nauru authorities, identify yourselves. Shut it down. No. Hello? Uh, hello. And this is the captain of the Luxion, a Nauru civilian transport. Uh, former captain. Luxion is gone. We were boarded by pirates and taken captive before they blew up the ship. Uh, who captured you? They, I think they call themselves the Ransomers. The, ra uh, the Ransomers, the Ransomers. At any rate, they're a vile bunch. They will all be dead already if they didn't think they could get something for us from the Ascendancy. I've overheard them discussing their demands. We will rescue you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, God Emperor. We've been held in some space station, but I've no idea where we are beyond that. It, I will increase the transmission burst now. It could let you triangulate the location of that this prison from the emergency buoy. Boyo. Be burr. <laughs> Position recorded in the situation, situation log. log updated. E no, here. Track. Why the hell is that? Oh, all the way up there. Damn. Uh, right, you two. Go on here. Construction complete. Wonderful. Grab this. 
Attacking enemy assets. Here. Uh, a large amount of ship debris can be found in orbit around this moon. Possibly the re remnants of some kind of massive battle. Massive fleet action, rather, but same, same. Uh, supply speed plus 20. Plus 10. Right, so you follow these guys, and you go here. Attacking enemy assets. Construction go. complete. And we have this, which equals to more unity. Yes, please. 97 months. Cool. Signs of battle. There's clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in close orbit of Starmark B1A at some point in the last 5,000 years. The surface on one side of the moon is a puck marketed with craters from stray weapon blasts, and scans from the ISS Velagion have picked up several hulks on the ground. Though these wrecks are in are all in a very poor condition, the fact uh, that anything remains at all after the damage they must have sustained is a testament to their advanced design. Science Officer Goldrick then Subir is preparing an expedition to shift through these derelict, ho derelict holds, holes for some v valuable technologies. Intriguing. Situation oh. updated. A graveyard. Uh, control shift complete. and go here. Okay, um, go here. Okay, you are building, good. You are not. Not good. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we did build it. Okay. Uh, right, go here then. Back you go. <laughs> Quite a detour. Uh, get this. Attacking enemy assets. Okay. Go here. Hmm. Keep claiming stuff. Buggers. I would like to get down to Asgard. Possibly defeat, uh, delete this fort up here and build it down here in Asgard. Oh, okay. Are they coming up here? Well, they are. Construction complete. Greet them. Attacking vessels. Special project completed. The team under science officer Goldrick Den Subir has finished their expedition on Starmark B1A and returned to the ISS Velagion. Sadly, the wrecked starships on the surface were too badly damaged to recover any useful technologies. These vessels were heavily, were clearly very advanced, however, and we could gain valuable engineering insights if we analyzed the way they were designed. We could consider the construction of a permanent science outpost in orbit. Ooh, plus three engineering. Will we win here? I think we will. They do have destroyers and we do not, so that's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, they fled. Uh, but we are still <laughs> getting more um, attrition compared to them. Hmm. Sensors pick up unexpected activity from an isolated point on Starmac B3A's uh, Arctic surface research. Okay, we did beat them back though. Go here. Encounter in Korobon. Interesting. Uh, hello. Build this and build this. Special project complete. Oh, the Sura call. Hello, well met. Mineral factorial. The ISS Velagion has found an alien structure on Starmark B three A. It seems uh, to be the only one of its kind on the planet. The science officer Goldrick then Sabir speculates uh, that all other Sinu arch architectural traces may have been moved off world, but this sole building left behind for reasons unknown. It is a processing plant working the planet's abundant mineral re resources, and preliminary scans by the SS ISS Velakion indicates uh, that it may that it can be reactivated with relative ease. Most excellent. Ancient factory. Somewhere. Up here. Ah, there we go. Nice. 
for an empire thing. Technology secured. This barren and lifeless world is showing signs of once having supported the biosphere. Yes. <laughs> Wormhole travel. Nice. Let's see here. Hyperdrive 3. Eh, let's get shields first. Now can Construction wormhole complete. things. We could go and check out this wormhole up here. Where it leads to. Yeah, we can do that after this. Okay, are you willing in white piece? No. Space battles. Ugh. Zero ship lost. God damn it. Oh no! Uh, a detailed survey of Starmark B3 has revealed that it may once have supported life in the distant past. Uh, there are significant deposits of frozen water on the polar ice caps and beneath the planet's surface. The, ex the existence of valley networks suggests that the water may once have flowed freely. Terraforming this planet would theoretically be possible, but we do not yet possess the, technolog the technology to accomplish this monumental task with a within a realistic time frame. Fascinating. A tsunami raid. Oh no! <laughs> Go to red alert. Oh no. They're down here. <sighs> crap. Crap, crap, crap. Star system charted. <sighs> hmm. So we lost ships and that gave us more attrition. Yeah, that's a bit, a bit dumb that it's it like dependent on ship loss, not ship, uh, ship uh, damage taken. So in case you just have like battleships, you would lose less attrition compared to someone building a lot of smaller ships. Star well, that's the extremes, of course, but still. God damn it! Oh, they're coming again. <gasps> oh no! Technology secure. Oh, they actually beat me. Huh. Interesting. Right, destroy us. Uh, Corvette hold points. That seems like a good idea. Destroy us. Star system hmm. We briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It might have been a glitch in our system, or it could be a sign of something more. Research also needs to check the time. Right. I need to cut here, so, hmm, interesting <laughs> uh, what just happened. Uh, so thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Very much appreciate your support, and I hope I'll see you next time.